walk out of here today knowing a lot about me. <laughs> the background is the scenery behind the main object, and of course, I'm the object, and then this is a bit about me. I'm from Honduras. I have been in this country since 2016. After going my first journey, journey, traveling to, with my family, traveling the first time, and being detained in prison for almost two weeks, into the second time, when we arrived in this great city, New York. When you arrive thinking that your dreams are big like her, but with time, you realize that your dreams are bigger than her. This life will not be enough to be thankful for everything that God has freed me from. Everything that I have lived has been to build the best of me. And here I am, remembering that tragedy of the role is only temporarily. I think back to our first journey. We stay in a Mexican family, the only place where we were treated like humans. They wash our clothes in the machine so the neighbors will not notice we are clothes on the clothesline. For low-income families, watching in the machine, watching machine is a matter for the rich. We make a beautiful relationship with this family, knowing that after leaving the house, we might never see each other again. On the second, on our second trip to the city of dreams, we saw a family member that used to go to visit her grandma in the same house during our first trip. After having a detectable trip in a cargo truck where more than 100 people are traveling without food, without a bathroom, or without ventilation. Where hundreds of people, including children, died to this day due to the conditions of traveling up to 10 hours in a row. They left us in a parking lot where families are assigned according to their centers, which take a long time due to the numbers of people there. The lady was one of those in charge of the distributing people to our next destination. She recognized us and asked what we were doing there. My father just said we were detained in our previous street, and she quickly assigned us to our de next destination. 10 minutes after we arrived to this new place, the owner of the house announced that the newcomers were lucky because the police dec discovered that the parking lot was full of immigrants and they captured everyone. We could have been there. And this is were not for the help of this woman. My life is made of unforgettable moments, like those that have built who I am and strengthened my desire to work forward where I want to go. Perhaps this sounds very strange to say, that at one point I need to go through those things to appreciate what I now have in this country. I have not been, I, this has not been easy and even through I'm here, more obstacles continue to appear. I have no idea how many will come but I know that I prefer to face them because without them, I will not learn the meaning of life. Being a documental woman, young woman in this country, I'm more stars to my career, representing me as a minority group in an area of technology, where people like me are excluded and this is not seen as discrimination. Maybe one day we can say immigrants, especially in documental people matter. I want to feel represented where people like with situations like me are silenced or silenced due to the lack of resource. I want to also feel represented through me and about all to be expired as well. I wish I could say that things are about to change or they are working on this, but this is not like that. The truth is the little work that is done is nothing to all what we need. That's why I see people like me with an associated degree in information technology without a job because their legal status determine their career potential. I'm wondering if this is worth to it's worth the effort to work night and days to win like this. That is why I see that many, many in my situation who better stop studying because they will never see the reward. That is why I say through time I realized that my dreams are bigger than any other city in the world, bigger than any skyscraper can be that can be built because there are no love that can cover those dreams. Thank you. Thank you.